Tajemnica świętości siostry Faustyny polega na tym, że ona wiernie spełniła wszystkie pragnienia Jezusa. 22 lutego 1931 roku miała wizję Jezusa Miłosiernego, który prosił ją, żeby namalowała Jego obraz, takiego, jakim Go zobaczyła. Mówił, że pragnie, aby ten obraz był znany na całym świecie, aby był uczczony najpierw w naszej kaplicy, później na świecie. It would take Sister Faustina two years before she could fulfill Jesus' request for a painting. In 1933, while living in Vilnius, Lithuania, then part of Poland, she turned to her confessor for assistance. Faustina wasn't a painter, so she talked to her spiritual director, Blessed Michael Sapochko, and he found this artist, Eugene Kazimierowski, who he commissioned to paint the image that Faustina had seen in this vision, under Faustina's direction. Faustina would visit the artist often. One time, she describes, after coming back from the artist, she wept in the chapel, says, who's going to paint you as beautiful as you are? And received the answer, it's not in the beauty of the color, nor of the brush, meaning the artist's ability, but in my grace, that is the greatness of this image. The first image was painted in Vilnius, which was then part of Poland. Then the Second World War came, later communism, the times when the image couldn't be publicly venerated, only at the end of the 20th century, the first image returned to Vilnius, and a new stage of veneration of that image began. Five years after Sister Faustina's death, a Polish painter named Adolf Hiwa approached her congregation. He wanted to offer a gift to God in thanksgiving for his family having survived the Second World War. He painted an image according to Sister Faustina's vision. This image still hangs above St. Faustina's tomb, found in the chapel, the heart of the Divine Mercy Shrine in Krakow Wagiewniki. So the history of Divine Mercy image is actually very interesting as it shows it is completely God's work and he, he wanted the image to be painted and he leads the devotion. He chose the place which became central for the devotion and it is Krakow. Here Sister Faustina died and a place where a saint dies becomes central for the saint's mission. In that case, the Divine Mercy message and devotion. The Divine Mercy image has spread throughout the world, bringing hope, inspiration, and a deeper appreciation for God's mercy. The image is compelling for its profound symbolism, which reveals the essential truths of Christ's salvific mission. Komuś, kto przeżywa w swoim życiu ogromne trudności, kto myśli, że nie ma już dla niego nadziei, że, że on się już nie zmieni, powiedziałabym, że, że Bóg jest naprawdę miłosierny i powiedziałabym mu, żeby przyszedł przed obraz Jezusa Miłosiernego i popatrzył mu w oczy. I siedział tam tak, tak długo, aż nie, aż nie doświadczy tego, że, że nie jest sam, i że nie jest odrzucony, że, że jest ktoś, komu na nim zależy, kto chce pomóc mu e, zmienić jego życie. The pale grey in the image represents uh, water, which is purifying our souls. And uh, that's basically the sacrament of baptism and reconciliation. So Jesus reminds us, I'm the water that will purify you. Let me wash away your sins. And the red ray stands for blood, which is the life of souls. Jesus says that uh, this is uh, the Eucharist. In the Divine Mercy image, Jesus is in motion. He is walking towards us. This conveys an important message about our Lord. Many people nowadays think God is indifferent. He doesn't care. In the Divine Mercy image, we, we see Jesus who's totally not indifferent. He's uh, moving towards us. He's moving barefoot. This causes him pain, but still he keeps on moving. He keeps on choosing my direction. Beneath the image of the merciful Jesus lies the inscription, Jesus, I trust in you. These words capture the very essence of the divine mercy message. We have to remember that trust is the essential element of devotion to Divine Mercy. We go to before the image, but we pray with trust. It's not just an empty gesture. We have to live by faith.
because this is what Jesus wants. Uh, he is divine mercy, and if we can, if we can touch and if we can see what this really means, it means that he is he vanquished sin and death. This image proclaims the word of God. When we look at Christ in that image, we're not worshiping or we're not uh, adoring canvas or paper or the colors of the image. So if I look at the image of divine mercy, if I say, Jesus, I trust you, I'm not speaking to the image, I'm speaking the one depicted in the image. One of my favorite things about the divine mercy message and devotion is that Jesus asked for this image to be painted, knowing that it wasn't going to change. I think that's one of the most theologically significant and profound aspects of the divine mercy image. It's a reminder for us that God's love for us never changes. Pope Francis says, God never tires of forgiving. We're the ones who tire of asking for forgiveness.